Hi everybody, good week, Vladimir here with you, welcome to my weekly review of the uh, 17th of October 2010. Uh, how can we summarize last week? We can call it uh, a crazy week, right? If you followed my uh, blog, you must saw uh, this uh, topic of the last uh, uh, week update. What the ha happens behind the real scene? And what uh, do I mean by that? I mean that there is, there are no bulls in the market and the market is still going up. For me, it reminds me, let's go to the charts. For me, it reminds me uh, the, uh, the 6th of May this, uh, this year, this situation, as you might remember, right? Because we were still, we were still going up. Right, you see, still running up. The the bears were controlling the market, and then suddenly, bam! And we are still facing this down move. Right, so uh, what happened uh, in this uh, level? It's almost uh, the same situation. Take a look. Right, take a look. We are going up, but there are no volumes. MACD represent the volume, and the best representation of a, of a volume in the forex market from my point of view is the MACD and then there are no bulls there are only 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 bears so it's only a question of time when we will see a serious drop down as we can as we saw here see we were going up this one going down 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 we got these corrections of four or five hundred pips every time and then after a final week we got bam and almost eight 100 pips down move, right? So there uh, are definitely uh, a serious, serious, serious downtrend are, uh, is waiting for us. So it's only a question of when. All right. So um, what are we going to do? Is to analyze uh, the the uh, recommended uh, charts, and I was I want to start with Australian dollar. And there are a few days and almost. Almost two week, I am talking about one level, the equal level, right? During Friday, after the realization of uh, the news, uh, we got uh, a kiss. I call it. We got a kiss uh, on uh, one level, and take a look what happened. You can see it on one hour chart. The best. Take a look. Here, you see, it touched it, and then dropped more than 140 pips. Now we are going for correction as it looks like now, but take a look at the bigger chart, the daily chart. Right? You see that? There are no bulls. It's a question of time when we will see a serious drop on the Australian. So we can watch for this pair. I guess uh, this pair will be uh, the next pair to, to drop. Uh, what? How can we join it? Uh, we can go uh, and uh, draw a uh, trend line right that were broken during uh, the Friday now uh, logically it will test it or retest it right here and then we will see drop down again if it uh, retrace full to uh, the trend line then wait for some double top maybe with some angle like this right uh, and the uh, uh, bearish divergence will, that will be created here and if it happened so we will rejoin it here when we get double top combined with a bearish divergence and of course the entry will be after bearish candle pattern such as it was here you see double top bearish divergence right a bearish engulfing and bam right so be ready for this the euro will be the next one the same situation, the same situation as you can see here. Right, we are going up. This is a daily chart. There are no bulls anymore, <laughs> right? So uh, my guess we will go down. Well, about the euro and actually about all the market, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that the bears will take the control since Monday. I'm not sure about it. Maybe, maybe we will see a retrace back to test the line because you remember I talked about one uh, two levels on the euro 140 and 142 right but, uh, this is the two two levels uh, very critical levels and see, uh, from these levels I expect the big drop well 140 
stop uh, resistance well uh, during the week, but then it was broken, and now almost 142, almost 141.60 was reached during Friday, and then we got 200 pips drop. It's amazing, right? This is what happened. You see, bam, 200 plus pips during one Friday. Well, what's gonna happen here? Um, almost the same uh, as the Australian. We can, we can maybe if we, the market will retrace up. We can look for double bottom, but I don't. I'm not sure it will. Uh, it will happen. If not, you can uh, join it with a break of a trend line, right? Or you can uh, join it with a break of meaningful support, which means this level, for example. If once uh, uh, 138 will be broken, that that means that we are going for serious down. But till then, you can uh, go even for lower time frames, right? For even lower time frames. And you can uh, watch for a retracement and hidden divergence down or a break of meaning support, powerful support. So, and I do believe that we will see a downtrend very, very soon and powerful downtrend. I'm not sure it will happen uh, since Monday because, uh, as I see it, my guess, we will get a gap, gap up, right? Because it was too powerful uh, down move during Friday and uh, as I understand the market, we should open an up, up uh, gap, right? So the pr I guess the prices will be open around 140, 20, something like that. I guess so. I'm not, I'm not sure. And then we will see a little correction and then down again. So uh, the euro, uh, the British pound, and the Australian I talked about. The British pound, I remind you, uh, we get now um, inverted hammer, so we can we can look for short. Uh, uh, well, okay, so because 160 and 161 levels are still very, very powerful resistance. What can we do about the New Zealand in the same situation? Take a look on this MACD. You see, it looks like the dollar will go and strengthen up. Um, the next one I want to talk about is gold, of course. Well, take a look. Okay. Still no bears on the market, and I told you, as long as there are no bears, and as long as there are no bearish pattern and bearish divergence completed and created, there are there is no reason to look to sell the gold. So watch only, only, only the buy options, intraday intraday trading or joining a, a joining the trend with moving average. Uh, all the strategies you use. Well. Um, Another one I want to talk about is the Euro British Pound. I was looking for uh, um, 08850, but this level uh, never reached. We missed uh, by uh, 10, uh, 15 pips. And what can we look for now? The same situation as I told uh, before. We can uh, we can see this uh, uptrend line, right? If it is broken down, then look to sell. Broken down, retrace to test, and then sell this pair right so uh, again the setups for this week is our Australians uh, euro British pound and um, against the dollar euro pound New Zealandian all of them you can look and join a break of um, the trend lines or the double tops if suddenly will be created and that's all actually for uh, this week and there are some uh, more trades some more potential trades such as a dollar Canadian for our charts and the hidden bearish divergence that uh, probably will gonna be creating, but I'm still not sure about this person, so that's why I'm not talking about. But be, make sure you watch my uh, blog uh, every day because I will update there. I will update there uh, my trades and my setups for this week. I just want to to make sure how it opened on Monday and how it will continue to Tuesday and then you will get updates every day so make sure you watch it thank you for your time watching this video I wish you great profitable week Vladimir.